Hello, I am the Frank Aldana and welcome to another episode of Edius Nav Hacks, the show that teaches you how to trick out the Edius interface and make editing more efficient so you'll have time for other stuff like promoting peace and saving the world. You know, the good stuff. So today we're taking a look at keyboard shortcuts, and if you're the kind of editor who has ninja fingers, this is for you. Edius has as many as 653 functions that can be mapped to keyboard shortcuts, and yes, you heard that right, 653. That is a redonkulous amount of customizability available at your fingertips. Perfect conditions for nav hacking. Remember in the previous episode when I said we'd map all 653 functions? I lied. You don't have to do that. That's just insane. What you really want to do is map the functions that you use the most and map it in a way that makes sense to you. In my case, over the years, my keyboard shortcuts have evolved into what I call a gaming layout. I'm a bit of a gaming geek myself when I have the time, and so this comes as no surprise. The rules are simple. Map the most commonly used functions within reach of your left hand. The right hand stays on the mouse as much as possible. Your eyes stay glued to the interface and the program monitor. This is essentially the same technique used by top professional gamers. If it works for them, it can work for us, because in the end, it all boils down to navigation. To modify your keyboard shortcuts, go to User Settings, User Interface, Keyboard Shortcut. On the top is a drop-down menu that allows you to display operations by category. Right below is a search filter bar that lets you type keywords to search for specific operations. This list contains all the operations that can be mapped out to your keyboard. At the bottom are buttons that allow you to import and export your keyboard layouts and buttons for assigning and removing keyboard assignments. As a precaution, back up your current layout. Click export to save a copy of the EAP file. If anything goes wrong, you can re-import this file and restore your previous shortcuts. You can also hit the default button to restore Edius's default keyboard layout. To change the shortcut for a particular function, click Assign. A keyboard palette pops up. Note that when you hover over a key, its current function assignment is shown. This palette allows you to map the currently selected function to your keyboard. You can also add modifiers like Control, Alt and Shift, or any combination of the three. But for purposes of nav hacking, I map my top functions to single keys as much as possible. If the key is already mapped to another function, Edius gives you the option to overwrite that assignment. As I move down the list assigning shortcuts, I also remove assignments for other functions. This is so I don't accidentally press something and then scratch my head wondering what I just did. Again, this is a rather long and tedious process, but again, you'll only have to do it once. Here are a few examples. Plus and minus keys are used to zoom in and zoom out. I can also use the old control and scroll on the mouse wheel to do the same thing. Backslash to view the entire timeline. A and S to move through edit events. D to divide selected clips. Shift D to cut across all clips at the current playhead position. M to remove the cut points and rejoin clips. T to insert default transition relative to the position of the nearest edit point. Delete to delete selected clips. Backspace to delete gaps. The tilde key to ripple delete. I and O for in and out points. Alt I and Alt O to remove in and out points. Z to set in and out points on selected clips. X to remove both in and out points. One to trim the in point to current position. Two to trim the out point to current position. Q moves the playhead to the in point. W moves the playhead to the out point. E to edit the timeline. R to overwrite the timeline. N to toggle enabling and disabling of selected clips. Alt N to toggle enabling only the selected part of the clip. Double clicking on the time ruler puts in and out markers on the clip below. Comma and period to nudge left or right by one frame. Shift comma and shift period to nudge left or right by 10 frames. 
Alt left click and drag to slide edit. Control Alt left click and drag to slip edit. Shift T to enter trim mode. Control R to set duration. Control Shift R to change speed. Shift Alt E for time remap. U to unlink clips on the VA track. Y to relink clips on the VA track. G to group selected clips. Alt G to ungroup selected clips. Note that linking and unlinking only applies to the VA tracks. For clips with video and audio on separate V and A tracks, grouping and ungrouping has to be used. Control Shift C to add selected clips to the bin as sequence. Shift, Alt, left click and drag to move all clips on all tracks in front of the playhead. Control, Shift, Alt and drag to duplicate selected clips. The asterisk on the numerical keypad to set markers. Bracket keys to move forward and back to different markers. Creating your own layout makes for a more fluid editing process. With practice, the keyboard and mouse become natural extensions of one's mind, allowing you to focus on storytelling rather than operating an interface. And that's all the attention span I have for now. Tune in to the next episode of Eddie's Nav Hacks in which we go full on Asian mode and learn the way of the dragon. No, really, you'll see. This has been your host, The Frank. Thank you for watching.